Hey Professor, please don't share this in the staff room. So, I've already had a little rant about the past Defence Against the Dark Arts teachers in this school and it really did help me blast some steam. But after having a week of lessons, my hatred for some subjects has started to awaken. It's not even the lessons really, it's more the teachers assigned to them. Let's start with History of Magic. The thing that really annoys me about History of Magic is how interesting it could be. We could look at the Statue of Secrecy, when it was introduced, why it was introduced and what effects it had on wizarding society. Or we could look at the beginning of Hogwarts, how the founders built the school, what, they, what effects they had on it, what they introduced. Or maybe we could come even further in time and look at Grindelwald, his rise and fall and all that. Or maybe we could even look at the war against you know who. Okay, that one may have to wait a few years, but still. We have all these interesting topics that we could study and look into, but no. We have to look at every single goblin war that all have exactly the same cause and feature such brilliant wizards as Gregory the Smarmy, Yurik the Oddball, Name the Adjective. The only time we've ever looked at anything different was the witch burnings in third year. And that was just holiday homework. Honestly, you know it's bad when the Ravenclaw stop paying attention. But this could all be fixed. It's never going to be though because of our teacher. Professor Binns, the only ghost to ever teach at Hogwarts, which is probably a very good thing. Honestly, he has no idea how to even teach. The way he talks and presents his lessons is very boring and often sends people to sleep. And then he tries to explain things, but no one is ever listening and so no one ever understands what he is saying and can never remember it when it's time for exams. And finally, the issues I have with History of Magic are never going to be resolved because our teacher is a bloody ghost. We're not going to get rid of him anytime soon. Then we have the other class I want to complain about. Potions. Okay, in theory, I love potions. The way different ingredients mix together to create liquids with magical properties Liquids that can make you have good luck, or get rid of boils, or make you shrink like in Alice in Wonderland? In theory, it's absolutely fascinating, and I love it. Yeah, that's not the case. Once again, because of the teacher. Oh, Professor Snape isn't boring. <laughs> Merlin, no. He's just one of those teachers who expects you to know everything about the subject, despite the fact that he hasn't taught it to you yet. I swear, just writing instructions for the potion we're going to brew on a blackboard and then making us brew a potion every single lesson is not going to teach us anything. I still have no idea how all these different animal body parts mix together to make a potion be... well, a potion. Surely the theory of the subject is at least a little bit important. And then there's that anger. Merlin, I have no idea why this guy even chose to be a teacher since he seems to hate children so much. I have never heard a word of praise come out of Professor Snape's mouth, which is apparently because I don't have any lessons with the Slytherins, which is messed up in itself. And anyway, teachers are meant to give you constructive criticism so you see where you've gone wrong and can improve upon it, not give you criticism that makes you feel like you're destined to fail. Tracy says I'm being ridiculous about this because I'm amazing at potions. But even you're bothered by this, aren't you, Trace? And for Tracy to be bothered by something, it's gotta be bad. Okay, I have no idea how Professor Dumbledore goes about hiring new teachers, but I think it's obvious that he needs to sort out his methods because the ones we've got are just ridiculous. My complaining is done.